So I would like uh, to thank you, actually, Mark, for allowing Shorge to come here and present our Shorge product. And first, before I even actually start, um, I'm going to ask you to raise the volume and just enjoy and watch. And if you can't hear anything, don't worry about it. There's not much to listen to. So my name is uh, Benjamin Nyland, SharePoint Geek here at Shargate. That was me in the video pouring uh, uh, the water, of course. And um, basically, um, we're here, we're all located in Montreal. Uh, SharePoint, Shargate is located here in Montreal. Even though there was a little earthquake here today, we're here fine, ready to do the head-to-head -head migration. Um, where it all started, I just want to give you a little bit of background, is uh, we actually started in 2011. We already have over a thousand organizations um, using Shergate today. But um, we saw that the, we looked at the migration scenarios, the tools that were out, out there, and we really felt like there was a piece missing. Um, and that was the granular power user SharePoint migration. Now, we're very happy to see that um, some of our competitors are starting to look into that um, with power user tools today. So really, really happy to have opened that market uh, with very competitive pricing. So hopefully we'll be able to see soon um, other SharePoint migration tools that will be a lot uh, affordable than a couple of thousands of dollars sometimes um, that you can find sometimes. So where it all really started is we are all SharePoint consultants. We all know very well SharePoint. And we all together decided to you know, create ShareGate and build a team around this that will help develop the application, make it easy to use, um, and really provide a real granular migration software so that people can drag and drop, not worry about special features or a thousand options to choose from, um, and really, really focus on the power user migration. So what we really wanted to do is not take an enterprise product and rebrand it or rename it uh, power user migration. We really, really focused on um, this aspect, which is the interface, which really brings me to our... Uh, Next point, which is we're all geeks. Uh, we're not going to hide it. We're kick-ass geeks providing uh, kick-ass support, as we say it. Um, and what we really, really wanted to do is that if you call, if you got a problem, either with SharePoint uh, during your migration or with ShareGate for whatever reason, you'll call and you'll get one of the people that actually works on ShareGate. One of the developers will be there to help you. It doesn't matter when. Uh, we'll even take control uh, remotely if you need to. We'll provide uh, updates and releases if you require certain features. So we're very, very close to our customers and cares. Uh, why do we have this time? Is because the application is so solid. Uh, it doesn't do a thousand features. It focuses really on the content migration and structure migration. So lists and libraries. And I'll tell you why in a few seconds. Um, so that there are no thousand things that can break. We get almost no support, um, but if we do, it's usually, usually to help or guide or maybe ask or request for new features, which is uh, why we're very, very popular these days. So um, the pains that we remove, so I guess a, a lot of other SharePoint migration tools has become a standard now, no server-side install, installation. So you really just sit down on your computer, relax, uh, download the 10 megabyte download. Uh, we don't even require any kind of forms or questions. You just kind of start using ShareGate for 15 days if you want as a trial. Uh, it's drag and drop migration. Of course, we support everything uh, since we have no server side install. So we're talking on-premise, hosted, Office 365, uh, 2013, of course, that's currently in technical preview, which um, you can actually Download ShareGate, it's currently free if you're trying it out with uh, SharePoint 2013. It'll be our pleasure to, um, to help you to visualize what you have right now in 2007 or 2003 even and go directly to 2013 and really see uh, what it is. So you were asking how do we differ differentiate, sorry I have uh, my Montreal French accent here. Um, so asking how we differentiate from others, uh, the difference, and when I really said we are a 
tool for power users is that we actually uh, grab a UX specialist. So by UX, what we mean by that is a user experience, somebody that really thinks of the interface. Where are things placed so that it's the easiest to understand the application to actually use uh, and not put buttons everywhere, basically. And then we really wanted it to be designed for power users, not branded or called for power users. It really is something that you can give to, your, uh, to anybody in marketing and uh, any department that knows their content. They've been working with share file shares. They've been working with uh, SharePoint 2003, 2007. And they are really the ones that know about their environment. They know what metadata they've been using, not the IT, not the geek, um, not the administrator. So we really want this person, the power user, to open up a little application that doesn't require it to be administrator to install uh, and quickly get the feel for it so you don't have to provide necessarily training on the application and really just kind of drag and drop map properties and that's what we'll see in the demo shortly. So what we really have that's different is our user interface and the ease of use uh, that is provided. We have a couple of tools uh, included and a lot of people ask me, well, where's the copy sites to sites? What we believe in strongly is not to just migrate a site to another environment called 2010 or now 2013. Otherwise, you'll just be taking your SharePoint 2007, sending it to 2010, and it'll just be a SharePoint 2007 wrapped around by SharePoint 2010 look and feel. What we really focus on is on, sorry, is granular migration. So while you're going to migrate, we want you to actually think about the information architecture, the governments that's going to go into it. Um, are you going to be using the same content types or were you even using SharePoint content types? Don't lie, guys. I know we've done a lot of mistakes in 2007. A lot of us did not use site columns or did not use content types and just kind of put all of our content directly into SharePoint and then figured out that it does a lot more. So instead of bringing all of that as is to 2010 or 2013, um, we're going to allow you to just bring the list and libraries over and their content from wherever it is and allow you to benefit from the new features to turn that lookup column into a manage metadata column. All right? Just really benefit from the new features and not necessarily bring everything over. Um, other tools that we'll have is copy SharePoint content, which allow you to bring things from um, list or libraries to another list or library, wherever it is. And, and this will include things like master pages, page layouts, um, publishing pages. So when we're talking about look and feel, you can really just drag and drop your master page, drag and drop whatever is um, used for pages or page layouts, and it'll be available at the destination. We'll take care of everything. So it's really for the power user not to have to worry about what is this uh, thing you're talking about uh, with page layouts or publishing pages. I just want it to work at the destination. You'll just drag and drop it with us. We'll have local files to folder, uh, to SharePoint folders, to SharePoint libraries, wherever you want. Um, this will allow you to keep permissions, to allow you to keep all of the um, actual properties that exist in Office. The bulk metadata editor and, of course, an exchange public folders, which also allows you to um, import or copy things from your Outlook if it's connected to Exchange as well. So contacts, I'll show you in a few seconds, really stronger uh, for you to see the actual demo. So here's our tool. Very, very lots of white space, very clear, easy to use. We've separated the structure migration. So here, um, a power user would come in front of it and really see, well, what do I want to do today? Well, I want to copy list and libraries. Or I want to copy SharePoint content, local files, public folders, or metadata. So let's say we're starting with the actual copy list and libraries. You'll see that there's a very clean, where do you want to copy from? This is your first step. I want to connect to my old site collection. And of course, we support form-based authentication and Office 365. And then I'll just click on Connect, choose the, from the sites that I want to copy from. I'll take the root site in this scenario. And then choose the destination. Where do I want to copy to? So in this case, I can type it in, or I have it saved. Uh, in this case, it's called New. Benjamin, five-minute warning. Perfect. Click on Next. 
And here, very, very clear, very simple. I have my source, list and libraries, my destination, source and libraries. I can navigate and just copy content types. So I can see that I have uh, groups organized and I have some custom content types that I created here that I could just drag and drop to the destination. It would ask me things like what I want to do with dependencies, like side columns. Where do I want to create them or copy them? I can also copy side columns individually if I want. So we're really talking about, here's my user, he connected somewhere, he connected it to the destination, and all he has to really do is just drag and drop to the right. He can copy workflows, so we're talking SharePoint designer workflows, out of the box workflows, the views, uh, we can even preserve permissions, and then we'll choose what we want to do with the dependencies. So I just click on copy, and everything's going to be copied over to the destination. Now, another thing is that we have tabs available for you. So even if I'm co currently copying thousands of documents, you can s easily switch to other tools, like the Copy Exchange public folders here, and I can easily choose what do I want to copy from my public folders. So you can see the interface has really been thought out of for the power user and not for the administrators that are not necessarily familiar with the content they're going to bring over. Um, another very, very fun um, tool that we have is the actual copy SharePoint content. Now, if I choose the same way to copy content, where's my source, my old site collection? Which list of library do I want to copy? Development. Click on Next. Where's the destination? So I have to go to a destination, in this case, my new site collection, and click on Connect as well. Now, it's going to ask me to which document library do I want to bring this to? I'll click my shared documents in this scenario and click on next. Now once again, you'll see the source on the left, the destination on the right, but even better is at the top we have some very clear and easy to use buttons. What does the user want to do when it's going to migrate its content? One of the very popular things is to actually map properties. So I click on map properties, I have destination properties. I could have a lot more columns at the destination. I'll show you in a few seconds. And I could just easily see all of the columns that exist at the source. And I can say that in, instead of having the title become the title at the destination, I could say, well, no, I want the product name to become. So very, very clear uh, mapping properties. And it's very the same prin principle with mapping content types. So whenever I have a my engineering document, I'm going to map it to the document content type at the destination, or vice versa, of course. We have the same thing for map permissions. So you can say whenever somebody had design or contribute, we'll now have read in both scenarios. As simple as that, just drag and drop for everything. And of course, map users and groups because I'm maybe migrating from an environment that doesn't support or have the same Active Directory or other form of authentication. In this case, I'll say whenever there's unresolved users and groups, you can map it to Benjamin. And that's it. Lastly, we have the bulk metadata editor. This allows me to stay within the same list or same library and make bulk changes. This means change where a document is located, move it between folders, although we try not to use folders anymore. But it's really to reassign properties or reassign content types in bulk. So in this case, if I just click on bulk edit. Two minutes, Ben. Perfect. I'll be able to create custom templates and say what I actually want to do for all of the documents that I chose, depending on what content type they are in. So if there, it's a document content type, I want to specify a custom value, or I want to use the map value that we saw earlier. Or if there's more fields, then I have a lot more options. I can set custom value for the confidential. Yes, they're all confidential. And I can say for, um, I'll support my drop downs. I can say that I wanted to, to use the map value that we've set up earlier, but if this map value is actually empty, then in that case, I'll specify another custom value for it. So this is really where the power of ShareGate is. Um, if I go back to my um, slides quickly, it's 
inexpensive compared to others. We start at 695, our ma maximum cap of 1,295. It's not just an email support. You actually call us, talk to the developers. Um, you get free updates, and we're really talking about huge releases, supporting workflows three weeks later. We'll support um, another type of list or libraries, um, features that we may have or may not have before. So we're constantly upgrading our product. And of course, there's no uh, size limit. When you have it, you can copy as much as you want. Like others, we will not force you to copy only five gigabytes and then charge you an extra. Um, that's it for me, Mark. Thank you very much for allowing us to show Sharegate to everybody. And the Twitter handle is really no. here at the bottom.